wanted to do a um, quick video on how I uh, play uh, DSD files um, natively, bit perfect format, um, without downsampling them. And and I've got two options here, but but there are an infinite number of options, right? Right from a a high end DAP um, to a to a, a desktop um, headphone DAC amp to a portable um, battery powered DAC amp uh, that you can plug into your phone or your tablet or whatever you're using or your computer, your laptop um, to to um, handle the the you know, 2.8, 5.6, or 11.2 DSD files, right? So uh, in this case, for example, this is um, uh, an Oppo uh, HAT2 SE, and it's a great device, um, works fantastically, and it, it, it is uh, foolproof. It, it always seems to work very well. I have a Fio as well, uh, almost similar size to that. It, it's not as polished, not as slick as this, um, but it does DSD files natively. And it was a hundred bucks or 110 or 15 or something like that. Um, okay. So what I've got here is a Fostex, uh, headphone DAC amp. This is a, um, HP, a, uh, for BL, BL for being balanced. Um, I'll just run you through what it looks like and, and then I'll move on to, um, uh, to what I'm using as a transport. So a balanced headphone amp, I've got balanced headphones plugged into it. Uh, you have quarter inch as well, if you like. You have input selector, you have a filter, you have uh, gain, high-low, uh, input selector being uh, USB or optical, and then you have uh, output selector, which everybody should have, and all that does is switches between my headphone output and my RCA output at the back. So now we're going to run this on the back. So on the back, I've got RCA, I've got uh, optical in, I've got optical out, and then I've got USB uh, in, right? And that is your standard USB cable, right? So, in this case, what I've got here, this is called an on-the-go cable. And I'll show you. Here's another one. Um, you buy them on eBay or, or um, uh, Amazon. Uh, this is uh, an optical cable for a micro this is an optical cable for a type C. So if I'm using my phone and plugging my phone in this and, 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 and playing the music I have stored on my phone, I'll, I'll be using this one rather than that one. But anyway, let me, uh, let's move forward. So, um, we got an Android tablet. It is running Hibby. So I'm using the Hibby music app and I'll tilt the tablet up so you can see it a little better. We'll launch. So now there's a couple things you have to do right out of the gate. So click over here. We're going to go into your settings. We're going to go down to settings. And we have to do two things here. Okay. So we want to say exclusive HQ USB audio access turned on. We want to come down a little further and it says DSD mode. And when you go to DSD mode, you have three options. You got PCN, DOP, or native. Go with the DOP. Um, more uh, devices will work with it, apparently, according to the to the the gurus. So we're gonna close that down. Why aren't you closing down? There we go. All right. So now we're running Hibby. I'll tell you one problem with Hibby. Hibby doesn't auto rotate, right? So when you're on your phone, you're looking at it like this. Everything looks great. On a tablet, I'd like to set my tablet on a stand and tilt it sideways. Yeah, doesn't work. Right. So, um, regardless, um, so we're going to play. So with Hibby, you, you, you see the quality of the file based on the icon, uh, that's beside it. So these are flak files. This is a high res DSD, as it says, uh, here where it says high res, that means it's 24 bit. Um, so we're going to play a high res DSD. Right, so now the way this works, quite simply, is we've got a series of lights along the top here, and depending on the quality of the file that you're sending into this to be played, it, it changes its lights. This last one is DSD, right? 
And these last three icons uh, serve doubly, either the DSD or 24-bit, or, or 32, or 16, right? But the, because this is illuminated, uh, that means we're playing a DSD file. First one is 2.4 gigahertz, second one is 5.6, and then 11.2, right? It'll handle all three of those. So um, we are playing a DSD 2.8 uh, natively. That's all there is to it. And the other thing, I did a video on um, Hibby before and using Hibby Link. So if you set your, your stereo system up and you set up a tablet or a phone and you dock it, you can, you can link into it from another tablet or another phone or another device and you can control the music that you're playing. Right? So... Um, just like that, we're playing DSDs, um, natively, bit perfect format, okay? Um, it works exactly the same on the Oppo, right? And, and on the Fio, Q1 and the Q5, um, and any other, um, uh, DAC amp that's compatible, uh, and capable of playing, um, DSD files. Let me show you, um, now, uh, just, uh, what I do with my, um, uh, laptop on my PC to play and then, and then that'll be it Okay, we're back. So I plugged my PC into this um, uh, DAC amp um, and There are two ways that 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 I will play um, DSD files from my computer in bit perfect format natively um, One is FUBAR 2000. I don't like the interface all that well, but a lot of people really like it. It is free and then there's J River uh, Media Center, and so I normally use J River. Um, there is a, a fee for it, but it's 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 pretty nominal, and I like the interface of this a little better than uh, than the Fubar. So let me show you what we need to do. All right. So first thing you need to do, you need to install, and you can get a trial version of J River. Um, you Google it, you'll find it. And I think you get 28 days or, or 30 days, or, you know, it's either four weeks or a month, right? Um, a free trial, and, and they're, they're very reasonable to deal with. Um, so then, once you install it, we're going to go Tools. And we're going to come down here to Options. And we're going to click on Options. And then we're going to come over here to Audio Device. And we're going to select the audio device that's going to play this. And in this case, I have uh, Fostex, that's my HP8, and here is my HP4BL. So we're going to select that. Then we're going to come down here to where it says Bitstream. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. But we're going to select Bitstream. And on Bitstream, we're going to select DSD. That's it. Then we hit OK. The other thing uh, you have to do, which I've already done, obviously, was import. So you click on import, you tell it where your music files are, and away it goes, and it, it loads them up, and then you can add your art and all the other stuff if anything's not uh, complete. So I think this is a DSD right here. So we are now playing a DSD file natively. So if we look over at our um, um, DAC amp, you'll see that the DSD light is illuminated and the 2.8 is illuminated. So we're playing it at 2.8 DSD natively. Um, and we can go right up to 11.2 on that without a problem, right? Um, and they sound absolutely fantastic. So I would encourage you to try it and uh, see what you think. Now, if you liked the video, uh, hit like and please subscribe. Thank you.